Okay, how are you? I'm fine, sir. Good. Uh, tell me about yourself. Okay, sir. First of all, very good afternoon, sir. My certification is in Jamila, and uh, I am uh, recently I have completed my graduation in BCS from Mahatma Gandhi Mahavidyalaya Amitpur, which is affiliated with the Swami Ramanand University, Mumbai. And recently I am completely here to do the course that is data analysis, and I am doing the uh, currently pursuing the data analysis course from the Fusion Institute, Pune. Right. Okay, so what modules have you learned in data analysis course? Uh, yes, sir, I have learned uh, Python completely mm -hmm. and I have completed the full Python. Uh, so I have done a lot of projects also on the basis of Python and uh, using some more libraries like uh, NumPy, Pandas, and uh, visualization libraries like Matplotly, Plotly, etc. Okay, yeah. so you said you completed many projects. Yeah. So can you explain any project that you might have done? Yeah, sure, on the basis of Python. Yes, absolutely. Uh, first of all, uh, I I would like to tell about my project that I have done. Firstly, that uh, I performed the EDA on the uh, which is the most uh, famous dataset that is Titanic dataset. Okay. Uh, yeah, and I performed uh, like uh, real world uh, operations on that dataset. Uh, like uh, I when I was working on this dataset, I came across some uh, interesting insights that I observed. Is uh, uh the what um, what um, what type of passengers this male female how much how much male passenger how much female passengers was traveling to this Titanic and uh, I was I came across that the mostly the more male passengers was uh, traveling than the female passengers mm -hmm. and uh, I there are the surveyed count of passenger was least as compared to the non surveyed passengers. So what is the most important tidbit? That you might have observed right during this project. Yes, sir. That uh, one, one of the most important uh, insight I observed that uh, mm -hmm. the female survival rate is uh, much higher than uh, male survival rate. And uh, according to I, I also observed that the class wise passenger class wise uh, data like uh, first class, second class, and third class. So I observed that the first class uh, have the more female passenger survival rate as compared to the male passenger survival rate than the second class and the third class. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, how we calculated it? Can you tell us? Uh, yes, yeah, so using the libraries and um, basic patterns. Like, Briefly, can you tell me what was the expression? Uh, yeah, yes, sir, yes. Uh -huh. uh, firstly, I loaded the data set, yeah, mm -hmm. for sure. And uh, they know. Uh, that only uh, according to my data that one to the data extracted from this whole data whole data set mm -hmm. so i use the particular expressions like uh, for example i want the survival i want to find the survival rate so uh, first of all i want to access this survival particular survival data from this data set so i use the access i use accessing the expression like a uh, data set uh, means uh, how to access it as using the column name and okay. so you just grouped it, yeah, mm -hmm. and then you calculate it yeah, using according to yes, about how to find it means That's first of all, average okay. using mean function. Okay, yeah. have you worked on any other project or currently working on any other projects? Yes, sir, yes, Which one? I'm currently working on the Airbnb. Airbnb. Yeah, Airbnb. Okay, can you just briefly tell us what's there in the data set and what is the size of the data set? Yeah, almost uh, 10 like rows are present in this data set. Okay. Yes. Okay. Can you tell me what are, are there any discrepancies in the data set? Yes, sir. What, um, and how are you dealing about it? I, I did encounter uh, while I am working on the data set mm -hmm. that uh, one of the discrepancies I was found that. Mm -hmm. Uh, the stream data in in into the data means, uh, for example, the uh, price we took price column from mm -hmm. the data set. Then the data uh, was uh, present in the format in stream format. So we call how oh, exactly? Uh, you it uh, it has the stream character like dollar character uh, in okay. combination of the integers. Yeah, in the combination with the dollar on, on the currency side. Yes. Like what are you dealing with it then? So first of all, I want to remove that experiences from this data. Mm -hmm. Like uh, I use the uh, replace function to replace. Uh, I use replace function to remove that discrepancy. And how and, have you removed for all ten lakh rows? Yeah, using this combination. So okay, that's use, correct. So use this combination. Yeah, use this combination to yeah. remove the discrepancies from all the rows. Okay, that's good. Uh, how will you relate yourself with Python? Yes, sir. Uh, I would like to rate myself around uh, 7.5. Okay. 
dictionary set is Give it an opportunity. Suppose you want to save the data. Yeah. When will you select less than when will you select uh, tuples? Yes, yes. Uh, I will uh, choose less data when mm -hmm. I want to change. Uh, uh, I want to make changes. You know. So after after making the list, and uh, because it is a mutable data structure, that's why I can make the changes. So when whenever I want to changes, I want to make changes, then I will use the list data uh, data structure. And uh, when I want to make it fixed, yeah. so where at that time I will use the tuple data structure because it is an immutable data type, yeah. immutable data structure, it's non mutable data structure. And uh, as we can use it as a key in a dictionary also. Tuple. So we'll ask you, uh, what will be the approach to solve the following program? Okay. okay. So suppose we have a list, uh -huh. and we want to update the values given by the user. Okay, single, single line. Correct. So how do you do it? Suppose you have a list of marks. Uh -huh. You want to update the value given by the user. So what will be your approach? I'm not asking for the code. And this drug scheme, the approach. First, we access this particular mask that we want to update it. Mm -hmm. After accessing, I uh, assign the number which we want to update. Uh, we want to assign it. Mm -hmm. If we want to update the particular value from the list, and uh, then print the original list. That we means that we update the list of single marks. So you will be first of all taking As the value from the user. Yes, single value. You will be traversing through the list. Figuring out where that value is exactly. Okay. Huh. Then you will find out the index number of where the value is present. And with respect to the index, you will update that value from the list. Yeah. Correct? Yeah. That should be your approach. Okay. Okay. So concentrate a little bit more on the list. Okay, sir. Okay. 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 Fine. Have you learned OOPs and comfortable with OOPs? Yes, sir. Which different types of inheritance have you seen? I'll say, uh, I'll say the types of inheritance like single inheritance, multiple inheritance, and uh, multi level inheritance, hybrid inheritance. Yes. Have you implemented it? Have you did course on it? Yes, yes, yeah, I have practiced on it. Okay. Yeah. What do you think is the difference between, let's say, bits and uh, cell? Try to give me as many differences as you can. Okay, mm -hmm. uh, in list duplication is allowed, but uh, in set duplication is not allowed. Can you give me any significance of it? Where will you use the duplication? Uh, yes, sir. Yes, I mean, uh, we want unique values from large data set or the large data, then uh, we can uh, go, uh, take it as set. Okay. Yeah, we can convert it into the set to get unique values. Okay. Yeah. Should be going ahead with the differences of list and set. Uh, differences between mm -hmm. list and sets. Okay, list are the mutable data structure, uh, but uh, it is it is a common uh, thing that set also the mutable data structure. Mm -hmm. But duplication is allowed in the set, mm -hmm. and duplication is not allowed is not allowed in the set, and is allowed in the list. Is the okay. most difference between the most common difference. Anything else? No, in, uh, it is order collection of. Correct. Yes. 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 Do we have indexes? Can we access the values with indexes? Uh, uh, we can access uh, values to indexes in the list, but mm -hmm. we find in the set. Okay. Yeah. So, what was your uh, final year project? Yes, sir. I would like to say uh, my final year project was uh, online attendance system. I mm -hmm. was done it uh, using uh, PHP in the back end and uh, HTML in the front end. Yeah. Okay. So, were you a team member or was it a solo person? Yeah, I am a team. Uh, I am a team leader, sir. Actually, mm -hmm. I was a team leader. I was leading the team. Means, uh, I was handling all, all over the projects, sir. Mm -hmm. I was guiding my team members. Okay. What to do and what to do. So, how do you handle pressure? Do you work under pressure? 
Uh, yeah, yeah, no, sir. Means I have no experience of work. Uh, like in your college, there must be submission, yeah, there yeah. must be exams. Mm. Like, yeah, sir. So how, how do you cope up with the pressure? Yeah, so I felt that I'm under pressure mm-hmm. to work or to do that work. Mm-hmm. So I take time in that situation. Uh, I have uh, that time to work. So I take time in that situation. I I prepare to be calm. I to be a calm, be calm in this situation. I think first of all, think about it, what to do, and uh, what is the actual problem, and uh, find out the problem, and uh, find out the solution of that problem, and then to do this work. Okay. What are your strengths and what are the weaknesses? Yes, I would like to tell about my strengths. Like I have little bit good communication skills. I failed that, mm-hmm. and uh, I was uh, leading the team. I can lead the team. I can lead the team. Mm-hmm. Or uh, I have the uh, leadership, yes, quality. leadership quality mm-hmm. that uh, I wanted to be performed mm-hmm. as a lead, mm-hmm. as a team lead. And uh, I would like to say in my weaknesses that uh, I little bit take more time to do perfect work. So okay. I want to be within a work, and I'm working on my weakness. That I want to be the work, complete the work, you know, within the time. Okay. No. So why should we hire you for a data analyst position? Yes, sir. First of all, I will explain uh, my qualities. That uh, why should you hire me? And like, uh, I personally feel that I am uh, that much capable of that uh, uh, particular job role, mm-hmm. and uh, I feel that uh, I can do uh, in profit. I can work in your company's profit in a well manner or well structured. So I will be um, worked in a positive way to grow up companies. Companies. Where do you see yourself after five years? Yes, uh, uh, recently, means currently, I'm working on data analysis. So after five years, I will be a perfect data analyst. Mm-hmm. After the data analyst, I want to be a perfect data scientist. Mm-hmm. So I will see myself in a well-known position in a well-known company as a data scientist. Okay. Yeah. Thank you, Vishnu. Thanks. Sir.